learning a lot of dynamics, a lot of stuff that really helps me. When we're in our like creative minds, they work together. Like I can be whoever I want to be, just digging down and finding all this energy. It's just a great feeling. It did surprise me. We're in the School of Fine Arts at the University of Connecticut. The acting camp is new this year. We're very excited to start it. Our focus here in this, in this camp has been for specifically for theater, live theater performance. We're doing a lot of movement-based theater and it's actor-created. We've been doing uh, voice classes with Karen. Karen Riker, uh, one of our faculty who is nationally known um, as a voice trainer, also worked with them in their voice classes. We're very lucky to have her. Well, for this group, it really had to do with breathing in a way that empowers you. So we would, we would do exercises where we were warming up and stretching out the spine, putting space in between the spine, stretching out the ribs. Acting is like 90% reacting, and in giving breath, really it should be titled receiving breath because you receive what the other person sends on breath, and then you respond to that. We learned how to breathe into our words and to take a breath with the emotion that is in the line when we put it out, and to slow down speaking. <laughs> And then half of, the been, half of them have been working with Michael on, um, it's called Trateau. Trateau is about, it's seeing what happens when you confine an ensemble of actors into a very small space. The dowels are just out there to kind of remind the students of what, how big their space is. That is where they have to, to work. What happens a lot, what I've seen is when you confine them to that small space, they have to think about the world in a very different way. Remember that, Mom? You taught me how to love. You taught me what love was. Thank you. Oh my god! Pivoting was so good last night! They have to com start communicating with their bodies. The students were themselves were acting the motorcycle. They were the handlebars and they were the wind rushing through their hair. So there's a real emphasis that I think is very unique and very beneficial to young actors on that, on that physical quality, on the physical quality of acting and physical performance. I'm learning just to like open up and to to dig down into who I am, to pull out all these other things that you know I never even knew I had inside of me. It's great. And I've been doing the plays for a couple of years, and this is just teaching me stuff I never really knew before. I think the coolest part of, of this camp is meeting all the fun people. Yes, they, they get a taste of dorm life. They're living across the road from us in Buckley Hall, which is a dormitory that's actually very popular with fine arts students because all they have to do is, is roll out of bed essentially and into class. So it's very close by. It's one of, in fact, the older dorms on campus. But the idea is to give them a sense of what it's like to, to be living and learning here, part of this living learning community. What are you guys laughing at? What the hell? <laughs> What is that? What do you think we're laughing at? you got like fortune cookies in your potato. No, no, it's called crunchy jello. I invented it. Wait, film this first. Two-dimensional, two-dimensional. Film it, just watch me. Wait, hold on, can you like get this? Film it Everybody here is so awesome, especially in my acting class. We've all just bonded so much as a group and just shared all these experiences with each other, you know, that we've been through. And... It really just so quickly, you know, with over, you know, a week, like five days, you know, we've all become so close with each other, and it's, it's really awesome. So I'll definitely take that back with me. They had a great time. They um, did some wonderful activities. They went down to Goodspeed Opera House um, to see the musical Pippin the other night. Uh, so that was their great um, field trip that we did with them. They had a Q&A session with the director and the producer there um, of the show. So how many are dancers? <laughs> well, how many actors? singers. Students in the theater camp, uh, their performance at the Works in Progress performance, um, they presented material that they had all created themselves in class. They're creating these pieces through improv. I was 
was the whole thing because I mean I had never been here before and just meeting the instructors and everyone you know they're so you know they pull so much out of you and they make you you know go the limit and stretch your boundaries and just the things that I've learned I didn't know you know I didn't know I could learn them and it just really it did surprise me. And I loved the jig that they ended with. It just expressed that kind of joyousness of being young and studying together and, and the kind of experience that they had. I see them lighting up.